few years, there's been a number of technological innovations within banking. And arguably, open banking is one of the most significant amongst these. In this first chapter, Andy Hurst, Vice President of Banking Solutions at SAP, talks about how open banking is being utilised by corporate banking. SAP has seen some really interesting developments as part of its intelligent enterprise framework. So can you explain some of what this means? Certainly, Kimberly. Uh, first of all, we have a full suite of applications to do transaction banking, virtual accounts, cash management. Then we have a series of applications for finance transformation, expense, HR, managing your talent and procurement. And then all the data management capabilities that allow you to manage the data in real time. And that's where we bring in some of the innovation components, machine learning capabilities, maybe some DLT capabilities, maybe some other interconnectivity pieces that help you connect with other clients. So that's in kind of whole the, uh, the framework we have with the intelligent enterprise. So what impact do you think the arrival of open banking and APIs will have on corporate banking? Well, it's starting to really take hold now in commercial banking. Banks are having to perhaps develop tens of different APIs into different marketplaces, into different consortiums, into their corporate customers to allow digital trade to, to go back and forth, where it be statements and other value-added applications. Connectivity is going to become more and more of a commodity in this hyper-connected world, and the value-added applications over and above that connectivity is going to be where the differentiation is going to be. So I see big opportunities in using the data that comes from the client with their permission to build value-added applications, predictive cash flow analyzers, new open banking applications that make the company uh, and make the corporate more successful and the bank more productive. With the arrival of these new applications, there's always kind of challenges as well. So what challenges are the industry facing now? I think it's changing from the fact that a lot of the transactions are going to go digital online, but the relationship manager will still be the key at the center of things. So it's augmenting the relationship manager to keep the relationship strong, but helping them with transactional information, data analytics, capabilities that help more productivity. Also, instead of just, you know, perhaps one-to-one -one host host connections, a bank, a commercial bank may have hundreds or tens and tens of API connections to many marketplaces, um, customers, companies that drive business directly. They may actually also have to reach out, embed their payments inside those marketplaces, and that represents a big opportunity, a new channel to market. People like SAP have a large procurement network, expense network, contractor networks. All these are starting to open using open APIs, and I believe that this represents a new channel to market where payments can be embedded, um, APIs can lead a more digital way of doing business under the strong audience of the relationship manager who keeps that relationship with the corporate strong.